What's up YouTube, Intricate Explorer here today. I'm an adventure photographer and uh, we found some fucking ostriches in the middle of Tejas. Look. Damn, there's a whole fucking field of them. Hey buddies. All right, so now that that's out of my system, we're going to Colorado Bend State Park. Wait, is it called Colorado Bend? Yeah. That's weird. We're in Texas right now, by the way. We're going to a state park called Colorado Bend. <laughs> I don't know what's there. Apparently there's a waterfall. So, I'm excited. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, you can have reservations. No, I didn't know that we needed reservations. <laughs> we are there's at capacity no word. <laughs> all the way through Monday. Oh, okay. And also with state parks right now, the reservations have to be made for all the parks beforehand, online. We don't deal with cash or anything. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Hi right, guys, so we rolled up to Colorado Bend State Park and uh, basically they're at capacity, so they won't let anyone else in. Now we need to figure out what to do. All right guys, well we just give up for today. We're not doing anything. We're just gonna eat Whataburger. Mmm. All right guys, we changed course and we're gonna go to Mineral Wells State Park where there's this interesting canyon thing with all these dead trees. It looks cool, kind of creepy, and it's on our way out of Texas. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, I'm so full right now. I feel like all I want to do is lay down and eat more fries. <laughs> Alright, we are arriving. Online reservation only. We made a reservation online. To be honest guys, I'm super duper duper lethargic right now. I don't know why. I'm just like, well, it's probably the $1,400. 1,400 calories I just ate from Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> Got too excited. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready to go. All right, guys, here's a little context. Here's where we're at, and there is a massive canyon down there. It's covered in shade. It's a canyon, guys. Look at that. Whoa. Honestly, guys, I feel like if I grew up around here, I would be here all the time. It's like the perfect teenager hangout spot. You got like endless rock climbing walls. It's secluded. It's not a far walk from the parking lot. And uh, it's just like in the middle of nature where it's like away from humans and adults. So I'm not sure what to get a photo of because the light's like kind of harsh, even though it's coming through in little rays, it's like coming down hard. Uh, notice how like the walls right there are like really almost blown out. So I need to start recalibrating. All right guys, we're gonna hang out for a second and see if the light gets any better over the course of like the next 15, 20 minutes. I'm gutted guys, I'm fucking gutted. I'm trying to figure out something that feels like fun or interesting or different and I'm just like I can't think right now this happened to me once before just a fucking intense ass creative rut and uh hmm all right guys so I'm gonna try something a little bit more abstract and honestly I think this is a result of uh, shooting so many days in a row I'm honestly sick of shooting things in focus so I'm gonna try and shoot things out of focus. And the best way I'm gonna achieve this is by shooting on a 1.8 lens. Check this baby out. Ain't she sexy. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this down to 1.8. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create these balls called bokeh, which are just gonna blur in the background. And since there's so many leaves here shooting different colors, it's gonna really accentuate those balls and make it look awesome. It's got like an oil painting kind of look. Check this shot out. All 
All right, folks, so we're gonna change up the scenery just a little bit. We're gonna go down the hill to this lake. Aw, Daphne. Look, she's stuck. There we go. <laughs> so we're gonna go to this lake that is supposedly right down the way, just to change up the scenery a little bit, you know, change the perspective. All right. Here we go. We got a really buggy windshield, look at that. All right guys, we're driving along this spillway here. I think we're gonna get out and try and get some shot in this area for sunset. Oh my God, you guys see all those bugs? Look at those things. Holy shit. Guys, we're like right at eye level of the lake. And look at all these dead fish from the overflow down here. Look at all these vultures, guys. Holy shit. All right, guys, well, a park ranger just told us we have to leave because they're closing the park, so I think we gotta get out of here, but I think I got some fucking dope shots of those vultures. Here's my favorite one. I'm gonna have to go through and pick them because I took so many. Honestly, shooting birds kind of feels like one of those games at the arcade where you're like picking up the gun and shooting it at different targets because they're flying so fast and you're trying to get them in perfect focus at 2.8 with a zoom lens, so it's literally like you're following them, like click, 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 click. It's fucking intense. <laughs> like they're flying and I'm just like, fuck. One thing I'm realizing is that wildlife photography in terms of animals is very much like a trophy in the photography world because their animals are so unpredictable, it's really random to get them, and it's kind of like, I was just like snapping while they're flying, and it's fucking a challenge, but it's fun. And uh, I'm glad I did that, so. There you guys have it, got ostriches and vultures in the same day. So, I'll catch you guys later, thanks for watching, drop me a like, subscribe, and peace.